We are pushing what is possible with Lovable. We are entering an era where we can create the most advanced AI systems by just a prompt. And this is exactly what I will teach you in this video. There is this one thing that you really need to understand and then you can literally create anything that you want. So without further ado, let's just head into the video. Okay, so obviously we are using Lovable for this. And the nice thing is we only need one prompt to get our whole system working already. To be honest, it has never been simpler to create such advanced systems by only prompting. So pay attention, follow along and make sure you understand everything that I'm doing. At the end of this video, you will know everything you need to know to create your own amazing apps. So without further ado, enough talking, let's dive in. The first thing that we need is we need to go to the build loop prompt library. And this is basically my library for every video that I make where I show all the prompts that we're using to make it very simple for you to create the same apps. So we have this multi-agent customer support system with WhatsApp. And what we now have is we have this enormous prompt right here. And what you really need to understand about Lovable is you just need to give it information about what you're trying to build. So we provided the different agents that we want. We have the database schema. And as you can see right here, we also have examples. So we provide examples so Lovable understands what to expect so that it can create code accordingly. We then also show some implementation examples. And this is basically all of the code that you don't even need to look at. This is just coming from documentation from another software. So in this case, we are using Twilio for this. But if you're making any other app with any other external surface, you can just get the API documentation from that surface and copy it to Lovable. So the point I'm trying to make here is just make sure to provide Lovable as much information possible. But a little side note, make sure that you only give it information that it actually needs. Don't just put in everything right here. Make sure it is really focused on what you're trying to build. So we get this, we go to Lovable, we paste it and we run it. But even though this all seems almost too good to be true, there are a few things that you really need to understand. So keep watching for that. Let's run it very quickly. If you're enjoying this video and learning anything from it and you are not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you like and subscribe. A lot of more content like this will be coming out soon. It is my personal goal to make sure that you can create the most amazing AI apps possible. But let's get back to the video. Okay, so we put in this prompt and this is our first version of our actual app. And as you can see here, this is already looking pretty clean. We can obviously fine tune this way further if we want. We have these cards and everything is looking very clean. We have this section with Sarah, Marcus, Emma, Alex and Jordan right here. So this is really cool. As you can see here in the sidebar, it was just working on the whole system. It enabled cloud, it enabled AI, it added database tables and then it was done. Like nothing came after that. It was just this one prompt. So this is really insane. We can now click on access dashboard and right here we already have our interface, which is amazing. It looks pretty clean. It looks a bit basic as well. But as you can see here, we also have this agent performance, which I think is really cool. We can now actually start testing it out. And the way we connect this to our WhatsApp is actually way simpler than you might think. The first thing that you need to have is a Twilio account. And you can just create a free account right here. And then you simply land on your dashboard. Right here, you can click on buy a number. You can then very simply just click on one. It costs $1 per month and you have your own number. I already have my number. So what you can then do once you have your number is you can go to messaging and you can go to try it out and send a WhatsApp message. Then right here, you have the WhatsApp number that you can start talking with. Obviously, when you want to run this in production, you need to authenticate it with Facebook. But for now, we'll just use the sandbox option and then we can actually start chatting with WhatsApp already. So you can then very simply scan the QR code on your phone and then you can actually start talking already. So the last thing that we now need to do is the following. Go to cloud, you go to edge functions and right here we have our power. This is the actual piece of code that makes it so powerful because this is our function and our function is basically a lot of code as you can see right here which we can now start using within Twilio. So we can use Twilio to make a connection between our lovable app and actual WhatsApp. And right here in your function, we have copy URL. So we do that, we go back to Twilio 
And then in the sandbox settings, you have your when a message comes in. So we paste this, we then finish it with Twim and that's everything we need to do. So we can now click on save and then you just activate it with the code right here and this can be different for everyone. So when you go back to your Twilio, right here you have your join code and this is basically you activating your sandbox environment. So we are now basically connected to our multi-agent system. So when we go back to our lovable, we now have nothing, right? We can refresh this, nothing is happening. But when we now start our conversation with WhatsApp, we can see that everything is probably already working. So we go back to our WhatsApp and we say, hi, hello, thank you for contacting TagFlow SaaS. Can you please tell me a little bit more about why you're contacting us today? So this is already working. We got our first response already and when we go back to our lovable app and refresh this page we have our ticket right here and this is already in the first version we just got it working immediately we can click on it right here and as you can see here we even see who is handling a specific ticket so in this case it is sarah and sarah is the main agent who will basically route every ticket to a specialist agent or to the support manager so we can now start talking with our AI agent from WhatsApp. So let's ask a different question to see how well it is already working. So we, for example, want the sales consultant. So this is for product demos and upgrades. So what we can now do is go back to WhatsApp and ask something about a product demo, for example, a product demo. Let me connect you with Alex, our sales specialist who can better assist you. So right now, Let's see what is actually happening under the hood. And this is the actual skill that I was talking about. So right now we can refresh this page. So as you can see here, the front end is really good. You can see that it is about sales. We have Alex right here and we go from triage to sales. So customers requesting a product demo. This is really good. So it says, let me connect you with Alex, our sales specialist. As you can see here, it shows one ticket for Alex. But now actually nothing is really happening because in our WhatsApp, we still have this, so we get no response. It is pretty useless right now. So what we can do is we can now go back to Lovable and we can now just explain to Lovable what we are seeing and what we want different. So we can, for example, copy paste all this. We can paste it. And the next thing that we now want to do is, yes, we given it some information, but we want more. We need more information about why this is not working. So you click on cloud and you have your edge function right here. And as you can see here, it was succeeded two times, but we can also click on view logs. And no matter what your app is that you are building, you can use this exact same approach to solving any problem you might have in Lovable. So now we can see that the handoff was complete, but nothing actually happened. So we gave it to sales, but sales just did not give any answer back. So that is exactly what we will explain to Lovable. So we can copy this right here, we paste it, and then we go up and we will use this voice button to really explain what is happening. So, hey, so we were talking about um, anything related to sales and it correctly did the handoff to sales, but sales did not give any answer back. We don't say, okay, we will hand off you to sales, but we will only answer if the actual agent that we need to use can answer the question. So we'll not communicate anything in between. We'll not communicate any handoffs. Let's run it and then let's just test it out again. And this is the loop where we are building in. Okay, perfect. So it has loaded. We can now go back to our WhatsApp and just test it out again. So we'll once again say, I want a product demo. I can definitely help you with a product demo. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's now see in our app if everything went correctly indeed. Perfect, so right here, we see that Alex was the one answering. This is all looking really good. We can make this custom to whatever use case we need, but making multi-agent systems is not that hard anymore. But you just need to understand how to work with systems like Lovable and how to instruct them in a good way. Thanks for watching my complete video. If you've learned anything from it and you maybe even enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel and that's obviously what I want. I want to make sure that everyone can create the most amazing AI apps possible. And a lot of more content like this is in the pipeline. So I will see you in the next one.